welcome you all to core practice. Nice to see you all here on this snowy day, icy day, I should say. So take a moment to find a comfortable position. Make sure you have everything you need, including some tissues and some water to sip. We are going to begin with the three-part breath. Whenever you are ready and settled, finding comfort in your seat, close your eyes. Just take a moment to bring awareness to your sit bones, to your hips, to your legs, aligning your shoulders with your hips. Take a moment to just find yourself here, being present, being grounded. The three-part breath uh, brings more energy to the body. It um, alkalizes the body. So this is something new that I'm exploring and that I'm really loving. We are going to do 30 breaths in three parts. So we are inhaling into the belly, inhaling into the chest, and then exhaling out through the mouth. So it's like sipping the breath into the belly, sipping the breath into the chest, lengthening the spine, feeling the expansion, and then exhaling out through the mouth. So 30 rounds. And as you are finding your flow, Notice the length of the inhalation to the belly. Notice the length of the inhalation to the chest. Notice the length of the exhalation and see if you can even it all out. So there's an even breath to the belly and to the chest. Exhalation usually comes a little bit longer, but we come to expand and expand and relax through the entire core as we inhale to the belly and then inhaling to the chest and exhaling out. So just keep practicing that three-part breath. That's meant to biohack your nervous system, release any tension from the body, increase ATP, increase the release of toxins and waste from the body. Without rushing, allow that inhalation to flow in when you're ready and exhaling with ease. Notice if there is any tension coming up through your body, if you're tensing up, gripping through your chest, through your shoulders, anywhere in the body with intention to release, to be soft in the body, to breathe in with grace. into the belly, into the chest, and exhale out.
And as you come to finish 30 rounds, just come to pause, being grounded, feeling safe in your body, taking impression of your entire being, seated with awareness to the core. And you may feel a little bit of tingling, not so much like an itchy tingling, but just energy moving through the body. So just be with it. Allow that energy to settle. And consciously send your breath to the core, to the belly, breathing deep, relaxing through your core. Feeling that expansion through your core as you breathe in and relaxation through your body as you exhale. And as you are, you may breathe in and out through the nose as you come to rest in between the breathing exercises. Or if you feel a lot of tension through your chest, through your rib cage, maybe some heaviness some sadness, grief, not sure how you are, but if there is any and feeling well through the chest, through the lungs, through your heart, just exhale through your mouth. You can even bring your hands to your heart in any way. Breathing into the back of your ribcage to the kidney area, the home of metadata as we focus through the core practice, through the kidney, through the omentum, which is the home of adipose tissue, meta. And I like to focus this core practice on fat tissue because it's important tissue for our body, oleation. Meda means oleation in Sanskrit, adipose tissue. And having balanced fat tissue in the body is very important for aging process. So we age gracefully and healthy. So we are going to do 10 more of this three-part breath, but a little bit more active, a little bit more intense. And on the last one, as we inhale for the 10th, we are going to hold the breath for as long as you're comfortable, ideally 10 seconds. If you can hold it for 10 seconds, it would be great. And as we hold the breath, during holding the breath, we are going to tense up the pelvic floor. So squeezing through the pelvic floor, squeezing through the sit bones and bringing that pressure energy up through the spine to the top of the head, even if it's just an intention. Okay, so we're going to begin for 10, breathing into the belly, breathing into the chest, exhaling out, and again, a little bit faster, a little bit more active, a little bit more intense. And on the last one, as you breathe in, hold the breath in that container of your belly and your chest, you feel the length, feel the expansion, and then hug and lift the pelvic floor, tensing up, building that energy to rise, to lift to the top of the head.
Notice all that energy through your head, through your chest. And just breathing in and out as your body desires without controlling, without thinking about it, just breathing. Relax through your legs, relax through your hip creases. Notice if you grab, if you hug, if you tense up. Bring awareness to your entire being. Soften and relax through your ankles, through your knees. The next breath, we are going to breathe into the belly. Big Buddha belly, expand as much as you can. And then exhale all the air out from the navel. Draw the navel in and up, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, hold. So again, we're going to hold and retain the breath, all the air out. And in that moment, we're going to hug the pelvic floor, squeeze, and again, draw that energy up and holding for as long as you feel comfortable without forcing. Listen to your body always. Ideally, again, 10 seconds. And from here, as you inhale, you're going to inhale back to the belly, back to the chest, to the heart. Expand through the heart by sipping in, lengthening the spine, and then exhaling to relax. Okay, so I'm going to guide it. Deep breath into the belly, into the chest, and hold, expand, big Buddha belly. Exhale completely, all the, all the air out. Hold, draw the pelvic floor up muscles, core, hold it. Whenever you feel ready to inhale, inhale through the nose, lengthen the spine, sip it in into your heart, hold and exhale out. Keep the length through the spine. Relax through your calves, relax through your thighs, hips. And just be, rest. Bringing more energy to the body. Now we're going balance, harmonize it all. All that energy in. Anuloma Valoma for 10 rounds. Whenever you're ready, soothing breath in through the left. Pause, switch, exhale through the right. In to the right. Pause, switch, exhale through the left. Nice and slow. Without forcing. Soft, soothing breath. Flow with that breath.
Open through the right side, lift that elbow. Two more. Finishing up. And come to rest. How is that energy circulating through the head, through the forehead? Breathe in through the mouth. Exhale out. Come back to Ujjayi breath, yogi breath, Samabriti Ujjayi, even inhalation, exhalation through the nose. Awareness to the belly, to the core of being, to the solar plexus. Notice your belly expanding, notice your chest lifting. You can bring your left hand to the belly, right hand to the chest. And as you breathe, breathe to the back and lift the lower ribs through the back. So we lengthen the lumbar spine, bringing awareness to the kidney area. Bringing all that prana energy, life force to the core. Relax your jaw and come back to Anuloma Valoma, second set of Anuloma Valoma for metadata to oxidizing adipose tissue. Lifting your right elbow, open through the right side of your body and breathing in, enjoying the flow of inhaling through the left, switching to exhale through the right inhaling through the right and switching to exhale through the left. Then see if you can bring that energy to the kidney area. As you lift your chest, Lifting your heart, lifting the back ribs, breathing into the kidney area. Finishing up, finishing on the left, and coming to be, coming to just sit. Breathing in and out through the nose.
Enjoy, just enjoy being, breathing. Bastrika for Meda Datu. So these hands are going to fold in, fingers in, making fists, extending the thumb, and we are going to bring the fist right into omentum, which is the belly fat. <laughs> Just bringing your fists below the belly button on both si sides and you bring in your thumbs in touching right over your navel so your belly button is right in between so here we activate solar plexus we activate nabi we activate the marma points right on the belly so for bastrika we are going to gently press the hands into omentum Breathing in, compressing lightly and stretching through the navel, stretching through the chest and exhaling all the way in, curling the spine, gently pressing your hands in. 10 rounds, two sets for each round of Bastrika with hands on the belly. Deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out from the nose. Finish up, Gyana Mudra, hands resting. Feel that energy through the back. Feel the heat through the back. There's that magic happening. Bastrika is heating. It's great for kapha. It's heating without creating inflammation. But if you do have inflammation, you can do very light bastrika or even skip it. If you have lots of inflammation in your body, if you take medication for inflammation, I would either do it very lightly, just bellows breath into the chest to release any stagnation, but I would avoid creating too much heat in the body. When you really activate through bastrika, you will feel heat through the body. We're just taking a moment to pause, to allow this energy to settle. And as you pause, relax again, noticing if you're tensing up, notice what's shifting for you. Maybe there is some emotional release something's coming up, maybe some irritation, anger, impatience. Just allow it all to be, to go, to float. And coming to second set of Bastrika with hands on momentum, just allow the hands to be there, to rest there. Whenever you're ready, begin. And finishing up. Mm -hmm. 
And as you come to pause, take a deep breath into the lower ribs, front, and take a deep breath into the back, lower ribs. Relax your jaw. And now lifting the entire rib cage, creating more length through the sides of your body. You can even bring your hands to the side. And as you breathe and lift through the sides, draw the navel in and exhale to soften. Activate the navel and exhale through the mouth. So inhaling, lifting the entire rib cage. Any amount, even if it's just an inch, but evenly lift and creating that length through the lower back and releasing, bringing that energy to thoracolumbar fascia. Exhale, navel in, exhale through the mouth. Feel the lower fi fibers of your belly, the muscles connecting to the pubic bone. And as you exhale, gently hug. Maybe even feeling your hip creases and very gently hugging with lightness, softness. So there's activation of those muscles without creating tension. Now, all the sphincters of the pelvic floor, as you exhale with the she sound. Shh. So you sound shh. As you lift your pelvic floor, activating and contracting through all the sphincters. Deep breath in, creating length through the sides, front, back, and exhaling with the she sound very gently lifting that energy up, engaging the muscles of the core. And again, inhaling, bringing softness, feeling your rib cage expanding and stretching, feeling lightness through the front sides and back. And there's more of that length created through the spine. So as we inhale, we draw the crown to the sky, lifting the sternum and lifting the entire container, entire rib cage. Exhaling. See if you can soften through the chest, but keep the leg through the entire spine. long exhalation. So there is almost like the length still happens through the exhalation. Your rib cage is contracting. All the organs are relaxing, softening. Exhaling, navel in, pelvic floor is lifting, but as we lift, we actually isolate the shoulders from the head. And as we exhale, we can still create the length through the neck. See if you can feel that. So we breathe in, lifting through the back sides and exhale out, navel in, soften the rib cage and keep lengthening through the neck as you lift the pelvic floor. We'll do one more. And completely relax, shake it up, just shift the weight, sit bone to sit bone, just like wiggle your tail, bringing that movement to your chest, shoulders. And settle in, going to Kapalabhati. 
We'll do two sets of Kapalabhati for 100, very actively pumping the belly, keeping the lower back relaxed. So you can bring your right hand to the back, flip your palm just to ease your shoulder, your elbow, so we're not twisting, relax through your shoulder. So we're just bringing, bringing the hand to the back, relaxing, and the left hand to the belly. We're going to keep the softness through the lower back, breathing into your hand and exhaling out, contract through the navel and begin to pump your belly. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. Ten more. Deep breath into the belly, release your hands. Lengthen through the spine, back front, and exhale out. Keep the length through the spine. Relaxing through the entire body, relax through your forehead, through your face, through your neck. Breathing into the entire body. Bringing softness to the tissues. And when you're ready, second set, you can switch your hands. If you have your right hand behind, put your left hand behind. If it's uncomfortable, you don't have to. You can just bring your hands into Gyana Mudra, place them in your hip creases, or just relax them on top of your legs, wherever you are. It's just strong action from the belly and keeping your lower back relaxed, upper body relaxed, jaw relaxed. The tendency is to grip. Even myself, I still, after practicing for so long, I still tend to tense up through my jaw. So it's a reminder. Even if you bring that awareness throughout the exercise, just relax your jaw. And if you feel the urge of swallowing, pause and swallow. We don't hold anything. Uh, if you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Don't worry about skipping a part of the exercises. So second set, Kapalabhati for 100. Whenever you're ready, begin.
you finish, focus your breath on momentum, on the belly and on the kidney area. Expanding and contracting, expanding and shrinking, bringing more energy flow. Amini Sara, coming to Agni Sara, burn ama, strong digestion. So deep breath into the belly, exhale out and hold. Hold your breath, pump your belly, massage in your belly for as long as you can. Inhaling to rest. And again, awareness to the sides of your core, to the back, bringing softness and relaxation to the body. Second set, Agni Sara, deep breath in. All the air out, draw the navel in and up. Hold your breath, pump your belly. The inhalation rises, come to inhale and exhale into your breath. And as you rest, breathe again into the core, entire core, breathing into the lower rib cage, into the kidneys, into your sacrum, breathing into the sides. And last, third, Agni Sara, massage in the internal organs, bringing more en energy to your digestive tissues, reproductive tissues. I'm just noticing how you feel. Notice that state of being, being present, being grounded, being safe, being supported. And let's tap into gratitude, tapping into the gratitude, feeling the gratitude for this body being thankful for this body, being thankful for this breath, for this beautiful tool that we have to heal, and just to shift our own vibration, our own energy.
we are going to finish with Brahmari to move and to shake adipose tissue. The quality of adipose tissue, it's composed of earth and water elements. So the stability of adipose tissue is there. So bringing vibration to oppose stability, to oppose stagnation, to keep the cells moving and vibrating with this prana energy. So seven rounds of Brahmari, humming, buzzing like a bee, so you can feel the vibration, relax through the upper body. Your tongue is gently pressing to the gums, just above your teeth, upper teeth. And as you resonate, relax your tongue. And sometimes to feel the vibration, you need to go a little bit louder to generate a sound. And from that humming, buzzing sound, feel that vibration. And as you finish seven rounds, just sit with that vibration, allowing it to just expand through the body to disperse, to resonate, to go deep into the bone tissues. Mm -hmm. Just as you pause, just feel your entire being resonating, vibrating.
Mm. And we are done with pranayama sequence for Meda Datu. We're slowly going to come to stand. We took a little while seated, so please take your time, stretch your legs out. And as you come to stand on your mat, standing in the center of your mat, shift the weight side to side, bend your knees, walk in place, bringing energy to the feet, to the knees, hips. And come to stand with your feet wide apart and from here coming to very gentle twisting, aligning your shoulders with your hips. Lengthen the spine, breathing to the entire being and connect to your core. Very gently hugging through your legs. Now we're going to hug skin to muscle, muscle to bone, micro bend your knees. There is that micro bend through the knees so you can really hug through your hamstrings, through your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor and allow your body just to flow in that twist, warming up your spine, lumbar spine. Keeping the length through the spine. And from here, slowly come to stand and toe heel your feet together. Coming for Ashti practice, Meta practice, always Ashti because bone tissue is related to vata dosha and it is vata kapha season it is cold and vata is cold so we're coming to hug the body together to the center as you stand tall and inhale your arms up breathing into the sides of your body and stretching through the sides of your body bring your hands together and from here take a very gentle back bend Draw the navel in, lower ribs in, and concentrating on the front of your body, back of your body. So we are going to contract and expand through the front and the back, through the omentum, through the adipose tissue on your belly, and through the kidney area. So inhaling, coming into center, exhale your arms to the sides, make your fist and bring your hands right to the belly. As you exhale, sit back, bend your knees. And from here, we're going to connect belly to thighs with the hands right in between. Squeeze through your belly as you stay in Utkatasana, gazing forward, lengthen the spine, breathe into the lower back. Breath in and out. One more breath. On your next inhalation, rising up, coming to stand tall, release your hands in front of you, palms open, coming into mountain pose. As you inhale, lengthen through the body, and again, activate, align, find your center. Exhaling out, inhaling, standing tall. On your next inhalation, bring your arms up, inhaling in through the sides, back, kidney area, hug your navel, lift your pelvic floor, hands together. Inhale, grow a little bit taller, and as you exhale, hug through the belly, shift your pelvis forward, scoop your big bone to navel so you can create a length through the lower back. So there isn't a lot of movement but very active movement, micro bending your knees, hugging in through the core. Lift through your shoulders, lift through your armpits, breathe into the rib cage, back and front, hugging through the front of the belly. Grow tall, crown to the sky, keeping the leg through the spine. 
Exhale, soften into your back bend, extend through your legs and inhale back to center. Keep all that length through the sides of your body. Exhale your hands down, making fists and bring your hands into the belly. Take a deep breath in, activate through your navel and exhale, sit back into Utkatasana, gently pressing in, folding forward, connecting belly to thighs. Deep breath into the lower back. Have your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor. Lift your sit bones, activate through your hamstrings, pressing your legs together. Breathe into the navel, big Buddha belly. Exhale out. Keep lifting your tail, your sit bones. Breathing into your heart, keeping all that length through the spine, gazing forward. One more breath. On your next inhalation, stand up, rise up nice and slow. Keep hugging through your legs, through your sit bones, release your hands. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine, align, stand tall. Very lightly shifting the weight forward and back, finding your center, loading the toe bones, feeling the weight through your to toes. Gently hiding your core. Breathing to the back of your rib cage. And again, inhaling, arms come up. Expand through the sides of your body, hands together. And as you exhale, gentle back bend, draw the navel in, press your hips forward. Exhale, micro bend your knees, just micro bending, scoop pubic bone to navel, hug pubic bone to navel, contracting through the lower ribs front, extending and expanding through the back, lengthen through the cervical spine, draw your crown to the sky, hug through your armpits, shoulder blades, breathe into your heart, draw the navel in even more, and exhale, soften into the back bend, shifting your pelvis forward, gentle back bend, and inhaling, grow even taller, Coming back to center and exhale to Utkatasana, hands on the omentum, connecting belly to thighs, sit low, sit back, lengthen the spine. Have your sit bones deep from the ankles through the calves, knees, thighs, lift your sit bones. Lift your sit bones, activate through your sit bones and hug in pubic bone to navel slightly. Gazing down, keep the length through the spine and alignment through the spine. From here, we're going to exhale, go a little bit deeper forward, connecting deeper, your hands on the momentum, folding forward, maybe gently rounding your spine if you can. Always listen to your body. If you need to hold on to the chair, great, hold on to the chair for get your fist. Always using the chair for support. And from here, inhale, rise up, all the way up, and coming into mountain pose, and pause. Beautiful. Coming to stand in front of your chair, as I'm standing, and then move your chair so you can use the seat of your chair for support throughout the practice. Making sure that all the chair legs are on the mat for traction, always being safe. Standing tall, take a nice deep breath in and lift your arms up, hugging in through the core, lengthen all the way up. Take a deep breath into your kidney area, lengthen even more. Hug your sit bones, hugging your legs. And exhale out, gentle back bend. Inhaling back to center. And exhale, Utkatasana, hands to your lower belly. Nice deep breath in, lengthening the spine, breathing into the lower back and exhale, folding forward, very gently rounding your spine. On your next inhalation, lift your heart, gaze forward, release your hands, reach for the chair. 
And as you're ready, inhale, extend through the back of your legs and shift the weight forward. We're coming to lift the heels up and then shift the weight back, lower your heels, extend through the back of your legs, extend through the entire spine, lengthening and breathing into the lower back. And again, shift the weight forward, come to tippy toes, lift your heels, keep your core active, navel in, lift your pelvic floor, focusing on stretching through the kidney area, lower back area. And from here, we're coming into center to stand in standing table. So walk your feet forward towards the chair, feet hip distance apart, shift away your shoulders over your wrists. And as you come to standing table without articulating your spine, we're going to breathe into the belly, drop the navel down towards the floor, and then exhale, hug the navel in as you exhale, feel the lower ribs, hugging in, pelvic floor hugging in without moving the spine. Notice the breath, notice where the breath is going, notice the location of your breath. Big through the belly. As you inhale and exhale, contracting, hugging. One more breath here. Coming back to center, toe heel your feet in. On your next exhalation, bend your knees, shift your weight forward, sit low, as low as you can, and inhale your arms up. Coming into Utkatasana. Next inhalation, come to stand. And exhale, release your arms. Take a deep breath in and pause. We're coming to inhale the arms up, hands together, exhale into back bend. Inhaling center and exhale Utkatasa, hands to momentum. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hug your sit bones and exhale, forward fold. Pause, deep breath in. Breathing into the kidney area. One more breath. You can exhale through the mouth. You can exhale with the she sound. And on the next inhalation, lift up, release your hands. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Shift your hands into the chair. And as you inhale, extend through your legs, shift the weight forward, come to plank. Step back, bring your shoulders forward, pause. In here, we're going to shift the weight to the left and bend the right knee in, exhale out. Inhale, left knee in, exhale out. Inhale, right knee in without changing the position, staying in Danda, straight line. Spine is aligned. I'm going to exhale, knee comes in without curling the spine, staying straight. Just the knee comes in. And alternate two more on each side. Step back and step the right leg forward, coming into Vira One, Warrior One. So for some, maybe it's difficult to drop the back heel down, pelvis is squared forward. So Vira One is pelvis squared forward, Vira Two is Warrior Two is open to the side. So we're trying to keep that pelvis. So if that means that you have to lift your heel up, coming into high lunge of some sort, if you can, drop your heel as much as you can, keeping your pelvis square and inhale your arms up. 
Take a deep breath into the back, to the kidney area front, engage your core. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your momentum. And on your next exhalation, fold into the right hip. So the right leg is forward, folding into the right hip and pause halfway. Breathe into the back, hugging through the front leg, draw that energy into the center, finding stability, hugging your pelvic floor, sit bone. Breathe into the spine, lengthen the spine, breathe into the back, breathe into the front, big Buddha belly. One more breath. Inhaling arms forward, find your chair, and then using the momentum, slowly shift your pelvis forward and back, and then step your back leg in and walk it off. Staying in a table position, bend your knees, cross your knees side to side. And bring your feet together. Standing table. Cat and cow articulating the spine. Inhale, drop the navel. Articulate the spine. Lift your chin. Exhale, coil in. Chin to chest. Lengthen through the spine. Tug your legs together. One more breath. And from here, shift the weight back, hugging your legs together. Sit back, inhale your arms up and come to stand. Exhale your hands to the side, stretching, lengthening and find your center. Come into mountain pose, just be, breathe. On your next inhale, lift your arms up, hands together. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhaling to center. Exhale, Utkatasana, hands to the belly. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hug in, activate through the core, and exhale, forward fold, hands on the belly. Take a moment here to lengthen the spine and breathe deep into the kidney area. One more breath. Next inhalation, look forward, lift your heart, release your hands, lifting your hands up and exhaling to find the chair coming back to the plank. Activate through the core, standing tall on your tippy toes, very gently shift your way forward and back and hug through the belly, navel in, pelvic floor. And from here, shifting the weight to the right and the left knee, exhale in, inhale, step back and switch. Exhale, the right knee in, inhale, step back and keep going, alternating, hugging through the core. Each inhalation is like a reset. Notice your spine, notice your alignment. One more on each side. From here, shift the weight back and stretch, Al aligning your pelvis over your feet, holding on to the chair, stretch through the spine. And in that position, folding forward, stretching through the lower back, we're going to take a deep breath into the navel, drop the navel, soften through the spine, especially your neck, lengthen, relax through your jaw. And from here, doing that deep breath into the belly, big Buddha belly. 
and exhale, soften your heart, lengthen the spine. Breathe into the kidney area, breathe into the lower ribs, back ribs, sides, front. One more. Inhale, micro bend your knees, look forward and pause. Connect belly to thighs and again, stretch deep through the spine. Hug your sit bones, activate, squeeze through your sit bones. Take a deep breath into the lower back. We're thinking thoracolumbar fascia, sacrum. And on your next inhalation, shift your weight forward and step the left leg back, coming into Vira One. Drop the back heel as much as you can. Watch the back knee. If you feel tension through the back knee, just gently soften through the back knee. And when you're ready, inhale, rise. Exhaling your hands down to omentum. And when you're ready, inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold in halfway. As soon as you activate through the core, pause. Deep breath in, hug your legs in. That scissoring action through the legs. Breathing in all that energy. One more breath and inhale your arms up. Use the momentum, exhale forward, find your chair, step in, step out, stay in folded table and step your feet side to side, bending your knees, stepping in side to side. Coming in to stand. Feet together, inhale, shift the way back. Inhale, your arms up just to use the breath to move and to stand up, coming into center. And from here, come to sit on your chair. We're coming into seated twists. Seated on the edge of your chair. Knees are bent 90 degree angle. And from here, we're going to cross the right leg on top of the left leg, toe heel, your left foot in. So you find your knees in the center, hugging your pelvic floor, hugging your sit bones, lengthen the spine, anchor through the right hand and inhale your left arm up. You can do this down on the ground, exhale, twist and release the arm. We are coming in to breathe in, lengthen, and then exhale, we are going to twist with the breath slightly, just like bringing our towel, focusing on the front navel and back, okay? So we can do the same position, focusing on the liver and spleen. You can do the same position, depending on what tissues we are working on, activating different marma points. So I want us to focus on the navel, solar plexus, or mental, as we breathe in, exhaling, coming into center, inhaling, lengthening, exhale, twist. Focus on the navel. As you inhale, focus on the back. Exhale, focus on the navel. Inhale, focus on the back. Breathing into the back, relaxing. Keeping all that length through the inhale and exhale. Shh. One more breath. Shh. Inhaling back to the center. Exhale, release your legs, place your feet on the edges of the mat. We're coming into a forward fold, completely relaxed. So 
Bring your feet apart to the edges of your mat. Bring your hands on top of your legs. Take a deep inhale and lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, forward fold. Allow yourself to completely relax through your back, through your front. And breathe deep into your belly. If you can, walk your hands down to the ground, look down through your hands. Micro bend your elbows, connecting your elbows to your inner legs. Through down through your toes, very gently hugging in your feet. Only if you can, allow your head to hang heavy. On your next inhalation, lift your head up, bring your head above the heart, walk your hands to the top of your legs, take a nice inhale and lengthen and allow that inhalation to rise you up. Exhale to pause, allow this energy to settle. Bringing that energy in the head, allow that energy to settle down. So kill your feet in and come to stand. Feet together, standing in front of your chair, shift the weight forward and back, look down, find your center, hug your legs together, lift your pelvic floor, lengthen through the core, inhale your arms up. Bring your hands together. Take a deep breath into the back, into the front. Lift your chest and exhale into gentle back bend. Hug your sit bones, scoop, pubic bone to navel. As you do, micro bend your knees and hug through the front. Exhale, soften. Extend through your legs, shift your pelvis forward. On your next inhalation, rise up, come to center. And exhale into Utkatasana, chair pose, hands to the belly. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, forward fold. Belly to thighs, deep, deep breath into the back. Exhale out, sit a little bit deeper, hug your legs together. Inhale, release your hands, lift your heart, bring your hands over the head. And exhale, find your chair, reach for your chair, shift the weight forward. Step the right leg forward, left leg back, and come into warrior two. Bend the front knee, lower your pelvis. Inhale, use the momentum to lift the left arm open. Come to warrior two. We're going to reverse the warrior, inhaling the right arm up, open through the right side, and exhale. Soften, side flexion. We're going to pause here. Activate through your core, navel, pelvic floor. Very gentle pulses, keeping all that length through the spine. Legs are active, big toes are pressing down, legs are hugging into the center. One more breath. And then inhaling center, extend through the front leg, reach forward, lift the left arm up, coming into Trikonasana. Inhale, lift your heart, reach up, hug your core, exhale, soften. And again, inhale, reach up, exhale, soften. One more. And exhaling, soften, inhale, rise up, bend the front knee. And from here, inhale, lift. Lift your toes, pivot on the front heel, toe heel in, toe heel in all the way up and come to center. Coming to sit on the chair for a seated twist. Find your alignment. 
Draw the left knee up, toe heel your right foot out. Find your knees in the center. Find your alignment. Root down through the left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhaling, twist into the left, release your arms and find even length through the front and the back of your body. Inhaling into the center, lifting and lengthening through the spine. Exhale, twist. Focus on the navel, focus on the momentum, expanding and stretching and contracting from the momentum, from the belly fat, as if you could control the belly fat and <laughs> expand and contract through the belly fat, bringing all that energy. Inhaling to the back, exhaling from the navel. Inhaling, realigning, center, exhale, twist. One more. Hugging and squeezing, inhaling back to center, exhale, place your feet on the edges of your mat, sit tall, inhale, lengthen and exhale, forward fold, rounding the spine. If you can, reach down for the ground and connect your arms with your legs. So gently pressing your arms to your legs, legs into the arms. Take a deep breath into your lower back, into the sacrum, into the SI joint, your pelvis. And if you can, lower your head down. Breathe a little bit deeper. One more breath. And inhale, lift your head first, pause. Next inhalation, walk your hands up. Put it down through your hands. Press into your legs as you lift. Inhale up and pause. So feel your feet in. And when you're ready, come to stand. Now, as you come to stand, bring your feet together into Utkatasana. We're coming to Utkatasana with a twist. So you can hover above the chair for support. Inhale your arms up, hands together. And exhaling it down to the heart center. So hovering over the chair, we're going to lengthen the spine. Exhale, cross, right elbow to the left thigh. As you go down through the right elbow, press your hands together, aligning your hands with your heart. Keep all that space and length through the lower back, through the front, take a deep breath in. Lift your pelvic floor, hug your sit bones, lengthen through your spine. Create more length from your ears to your shoulders, soften through your face. Draw the right hip back slightly, hug your knees together. One more breath. And as you exhale, coming forward, release your hands and maybe reach down for your ground. Exhale, lower your hips, coming to deep Utkatasana, gazing forward. Hug your sit bones, hug your pelvic floor. Inhaling, lift your arms, use the momentum and come to stand, legs together. Exhale, release your arms. And pause, standing in front of your chair, feet together, 
shift the weight forward and back, find your center. And when you're ready, inhale your arms up. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, center. And exhale, Utkatasana, sit back, hands to momentum. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fold, connect belly to thighs. Inhale, rise up, release your hands, lift your arms up, and exhale down to the chair. Step your left leg forward, right leg back for warrior two. Using the momentum, inhale the right arm up, come into alignment, find your comfortable position here and reverse the warrior. We're going to pause and pulse, activating through the obliques, activating through the core. Lengthen through the spine. And as you inhale, rise up. Exhale forward, extending the front leg, reach. Coming into Trikonasana. And from here, we're going to gently reach up, lift up. And exhale, soften. Breathing into the right side of your body. One more breath. Inhale, rising all the way up. And using the momentum, exhale your arms. Pivot, toe heel in. Coming to Utkatasana from here. So as your legs come together, coming to a twist on the other side, inhale your arms up. Hands together, exhale back. Hands to the heart, inhale, lengthen the spine, align, hug your sit bones, pelvic floor. When you're ready, exhale, twist, left elbow to the right thigh. And maybe you stay here. Exhaling, align your hands with your heart if you can. Draw the left hip back, align your knees, hug and squeeze through your knees together. Breathing through the front, breathing through the back. When you're ready, exhale, forward fold. Hands to the ground or your shins, wherever you are. Inhale, extend through the back of your legs. And from here, bend your knees, come to sit down on your mat. Coming into boat pose. So as you sit in the middle of your mat, scoop your knees in, lengthen through your spine. And when you're ready, extend through your arms, roll your shoulders back, gazing forward, bring your legs to table. Take a deep breath in, we're gonna pause here, activating through the core. Breathe into the navel, breathe into the kidney area. Next exhalation, shift the weight forward, extend your legs forward, keep your knees bent. Take a nice deep breath, breathe into the heart, lengthen the spine and exhale, connect belly to thighs. Reach for your ankles, keep that connection, belly to thighs and when you're ready, exhale, walk your heels away. Again, deep breath into the spine and exhale, folding forward, rounding your spine. Breathing into the navel, breathing into the lower back. One more breath.
And inhaling, rising to exhale, coming to lie down. As you come to lie down, draw your knees into your chest. Extend your arms out, palms facing down, and stretch your legs up to the sky, point and flex. Draw your chin to your chest. We're going to lower the left leg down, bend the right knee, reach for your right leg with your left arm. And as you exhale, you're going to twist to the left, gazing to the right. Take a deep breath into both sides, front and back, right and left. Inhaling back to center, draw your knees into your chest, chin to your chest, extend your legs up, point and flex, extend your arms to the side, now lower the right leg, bend the left knee, and then reach your right arm to the left side of your leg, and gently twist to the right side, anchor through the left shoulder, gaze to the left side. And take a deep breath into your chest, into your belly, relax through the hip, relax through the legs. One more breath. From here, coming back to center, draw your knees in. Draw your knees in towards your armpits. Lengthen pubic bone away from the navel to down to your sacrum. Take a deep breath into your navel, big Buddha belly. As if you could reach the sky with your navel. And then exhale, relax, chin to chest, extend your legs up to the sky, arms along the body, palms facing down, draw your toes in towards your head, lengthen through the back of your neck, root down through the head. When you're ready, exhale your legs halfway and pause. Take a deep breath in and out. Next exhalation. Lower your legs halfway and pause. Keep hugging your legs together. Relax your jaw and exhale again halfway. Activate through your core and scoop your big bone to navel without wrinkling your face. And then exhale to hover. Three breaths as we hover. Deep breath in and out. Chin to chest, relax your upper body. Hug through your lower body. Exhale all the way down, coming to Shavasana. And just take a moment. I know we are over time, but just take a moment for Shavasana. It's so important to just allow yourself to be allowing the energy of this practice to settle. Feeling the lightness in the body. And even as we rest, feeling awake, feeling this pulsation of prana energy flowing through the body. And as we could surrender to the spaciousness and surrender to the earth. That energy of stability and support, safety. Very slowly increase your inhale so you can breathe into the belly and you can breathe into the heart 
for two parts and exhale out through the mouth for the third part. Deep breath into the belly, into the chest and throat and out through the mouth. Into the belly, into the chest and out through the mouth. And one more. And then slowly begin to move your fingers, your toes, wrists, ankles, moving your head side to side. And if it feels right, stretch your arms over the head and draw your knees into your chest and hug your knees. And bring movement to your body. And make your way to lie on the left side. Using your left arm as a pillow, connect to your heart. I am light, deep, loving awareness. And very slowly come to rise, to sit. Coming to sit in a comfortable position. And if it feels authentic to you, bring your hands to your heart. Connecting to your heart. Maybe feeling pulsation of your heart. And when the loving awareness brings smile to your face, bring smile to your heart. Shifting your own energy, shifting your own vibration. I am well. And all is the way it should be on this journey called life. Deep breath into your heart. Tap into the gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Being grateful for this body, being grateful for this breath, for this morning, for the season, for the snow. We have no alligators. We have no earthquakes. We are grateful. I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart to join me in this beautiful snowy day. Stay warm, stay safe, stay well. Namaste. Thank you.